Hello everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for another unboxing video. Uh, I'm going to do this kind of like I did last month, where um, I will open these boxes as I get them. These are things that have been donated uh, by viewers to me, uh, to the channel, and so as I get them, I'm going to open them up so everybody can see what it is, um, and then at the end of the month, I'll just edit all those together uh, and give you an unboxing video so you can see all the cool stuff that people send me. Uh, so, uh, first of all, thanks to everyone who does uh, send me stuff right now. I only have one box, and who knows, this might be the only box for the month, which is fine. No one should ever uh, feel obligated to send anything to me. Uh, for those who do, I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, but uh, nobody has to send me anything. So if this is the only box that uh, gets sent to me this month, uh, then this will be the only one that I open. But I did want to make sure to open this uh, for the camera uh, so, so I can also express my appreciation for the person who sent it. So uh, let's go ahead and check this one box out. This box was sent by someone you may remember. This was sent by Kurt Kessler, also known as the Flannel Viper. Uh, so, Kurt, uh, sorry, this box got a little damaged in transit. Um, I, I didn't do this. Uh, the U.S. Postal Service did this. Uh, so I don't know if this did anything to the contents inside. If so, I'm very sorry. But it was like this when I got it. So um, I have cut the tape already uh, so I can open this up. But I haven't looked inside so I don't know what's in here. So uh, let's find out together. Okay, let's open it up and... The first thing I see is a note. So far the only thing I see is a note. And it says, um, Hoodie, congrats on uh, hitting the million view mark. Uh, every commander needs their weapons. Uh, Destro made me another for you. Uh, Cobra Commander, a.k.a. Uh, Flannel Viper, a.k.a. Kurt. So, uh, thank you. I don't know what that means yet, but uh, thank you. Um, so, um, and thank you for um, helping me reach that million view mark on this channel. Uh, that was kind of a big milestone for me. Uh, I never, I wasn't sure I'd ever get there. It just seemed uh, like um, we've been doing this for several years now, um, and uh, I just never thought that my audience would grow that much. Uh, but it sure has, and man, a million views, that's just awesome that just gives me tingles i think my reviews have been are, have been watched uh over a million times that's so cool so uh thank you for that and so now uh let's see what we got here we have some packing material uh and i don't see anything else so let's see what's under the packing material oh uh that's not what i expected uh kurt uh, all right, you, you want to see what's in here? Um, of course you do. That's why you t turned on the video. You want to see what's in here. Um, that's not what I expected. <laughs> okay, all right, check this out. This is what Kurt sent. It is a full-size replica of Cobra Commander's laser pistol. Uh, look at that. This looks... Hold on, let me zoom. you got to see this. Uh, <laughs> uh, it looks... Uh, it looks to be uh, 3D printed. Uh, and it is a remarkably faithful uh, re representation of the original 1982 Cobra Commander accessory. Uh, as a big person size. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, uh, cool. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kurt. Um, absolutely not what I was expecting to pull out of that box. You know, what I might need to do now is, uh, do the thing that I've been thinking about doing for years, uh, which is, uh, do a Cobra Commander cosplay. I don't typically do cosplay, it's not my thing, but I have thought about it. Maybe I need to just do it now, and this, this could be the first piece of it. Um, I just keep staring at it. It's, it's got pretty amazing detail, um, and it looks just like the, the real thing. It looks just like the accessory. It, that is just 
that is just amazing, Kurt. I am, I am impressed. I, I don't even know what else to say about it. So my sincerest thanks to Kurt for this. This is awesome. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you for your support, uh, your ongoing support. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. And uh, this is just very thoughtful. Um, so uh, sincere thanks. Thank you very much, Flannel Viper. Hey, everybody. I just got another box. This box is from Paul Kinnear. And this box came from pretty far away. Uh, this is from the United Kingdom. Uh, yeah, there's there's the queen right there. So uh, uh, I have to admit that I have already opened this. So I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to see what was in here. There's some awesome stuff in here. Um, so I put it back in the box uh, so I, I could uh, show it to you. But I did uh, not put the packing material back in. There was packing material in here. It was very well packed. It arrived safely, Paul. Uh, you packed it very well. Uh, but um, I just couldn't stop myself. I had to open it right away. So now I'm going to show you what Paul sent me. Okay, let's open it up. Let's pop this tab out, uh, which was easier to do when I got it out. Oh, there we go. Uh, and this opens up, and there's awesome stuff inside. Uh, we have some Action Force figures, and I will have to zoom in for this. Uh, I'll take these out of the bag, but these are... Um, O-ring action force figures. This would be from a little later uh, than the era of figures that um, that uh, Cyber Tiger sent me. But check that out. See, this is why I need to wear a light shirt because you can't see that very well. But look at these. Look at these. This one, I believe, is called Blades, a helicopter pilot uh, for the um, uh, the Special Air Service, SAS Division of Action Force, I believe. I don't remember what this guy is called, uh, but he's obviously modeled on the old uh, Cobra Officer mold. But, I mean, check out that black, gray, and silver. That is just such an impressive color scheme with that classic Cobra Officer mold. Um, and the black and gray kind of helps tripwire out pretty well, too. Uh, these are awesome. Uh, I, I uh, never thought I would actually hold these in my hand. Um, that is incredible. If this was all that was in the box, uh, this would be a pretty great box. So uh, thank you, Paul, for these. That's great. And next out of the box is another classic um, Action Force O-Ring figure. Uh, you American fans will recognize this guy right away. Uh, this is the Action Force version of Steeler. There we go. Steeler Action Force. Uh, and of course you can see he has the red instead of the gold. Uh, he's got uh, a few more paint applications on him than the American figure did. A uh, lighter green color. Uh, looks pretty snappy, uh, I have to say. Uh, I do like this figure, but this thing is this is just amazing. Um, I've seen pictures of him, of course, but I've never actually held one of these in my hand, and that's that's a thrill for me, uh, to actually be able to touch these Action Force figures. It's the same kind of thrill I got when Cyber Tiger sent me some Action Force figures. I, I feel the same thing now. It's like, wow. Um, maybe uh, you guys in Britain, um, maybe for you guys these are pretty ordinary, you know, just everyday items. But uh, for me, this is special. Um, and he does have his accessories in here, uh, his red helmet. Uh, his Uzi and visor, um, just really cool stuff. So uh, that is another amazing figure. Next out of the box is in a case, and it is this is Skeletron, um, and I'm trying to get up close so you can see uh, that is based on the Cobra Bat uh, body. But check out that head, that like robot skull head. Uh, that is just something else. That's so cool. Um, it's, uh, it's like a Cobra Bat, but uh, um, altered a bit. Uh, and I got the black and red is very striking. It's got that uh, uh, Baron Ironblood's um, uh, skull and crossbones on it. Uh, this very memorable uh, enemy logo from Action Force. Uh, that's pretty cool. And there's another really cool one I'm about to take out of the box. Uh, this one, you may know something about. I know a little bit about it. This is Bombardier. 
And this figure, if I'm not mistaken, uh, was one that was released by uh, bloodforthebaron.com. Uh, and this is a modern figure that is based on the unreleased Bombardier figure uh, that was uh, discovered a few years ago uh, and uh, just amazing. Um, I had been actually had my eye on this figure and I had almost bought one at one point. Um, I kind of wish that I had, uh, but now um, Paul has sent this to me and it's just so cool looking. It's got uh, parts uh, that you would recognize from 1982 uh, G.I. Joe figures, really 1983 since it's swivel arm, uh, but done in totally different colors. So uh, Bombardier, just an amazing figure uh, and an amazing piece of history for Action Force. And uh, Paul did write a letter. Uh, I did read this, uh, but I'm not going to read it to you right now because if I read the letter to you, uh, it would uh, give away the uh, one remaining item in the box, and I want you to be surprised. Uh, but uh, thank you for writing this, Paul. Uh, it's good information on these figures. I appreciate it, uh, and that's awesome. And I like the uh, um, I like the little drawing as well. Very nice. Um, okay, so now one more item. One more item. Last thing in the box. Let's pull it out. American GI Joe fans, I think you'll dig this. Okay. It's coming out. All right. Didn't drop anything. It's in this sleeve, this protective sleeve. Uh, I am going to pull it out this way, and it is. There we go. This is uh, essentially the Action Force version of the, of the Cobra Fang helicopter. Um, and of course, I'm a huge fan of the Cobra Fang helicopter, uh, and this is just too cool. This is the SAS helicopter. Again, I wish I had worn a light colored shirt. Here, let's try it that way. There we go. Now you can see. Uh, this is uh, the helicopter that goes with blades, the tripwire repaint. Um, it's still in that gorgeous black uh, that we remember from uh, the Fang helicopter, but it, uh, the all the red pieces on the Fang are yellow on this with some different stickers. Uh, that is just I, just, I mean, I just can't stop looking at it. It is just gorgeous. Um, and again, I've seen pictures of it before. Never thought I would actually hold one in my hand. That is uh, thrilling, really. I, I'm not exaggerating. This is a thrill, Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you for this, Paul, sincerely. Um, Action Force, to me, is almost mythical. And uh, I had a really special feeling when uh, I opened up the package that Cyber Tiger sent to me with those early Action Force figures. It's like, you know, holding a legend in your hand. And I have the same feeling with these. These are just amazing to me. I can't tell you how cool these things, I think these are. I just keep looking at them and just noticing all the differences uh, between the American releases and these, and I, I just love it. So. Thank you, Paul. It means the world to me. Uh, really awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, I'm back with a light-colored shirt this time. I have another box that just came in. Uh, this is from Chris Piers of the YouTube show Comic Tropes. He has helped a lot with this channel, and I really like his show, so make sure you check out Comic Tropes on YouTube. I have cut the tape on this box so I can open it, but I have not pulled the contents out yet. I don't know what's in here, so let's open it and see what we got. Let's see, I think I can open it from this end. Yes, there we go. And we have some packing kernels. There we go. And we have something that is bubble wrapped. So let's pull that out. Looks like it goes this way. All right, okay. And I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, all right, that is, all right, that's it. Just. More packing kernels in there now. So this looks, <laughs> I can see what it is. Oh, this is cool. All right, uh, let's open the bubble wrap so I can show you what this is. All right, uh, oh, it's got tape. I don't want to get the tape on the thing itself. I don't want to ruin it. So let's carefully take the tape off. There we go. I'll save the Bubble wrap, you never know when you'll need bubble wrap. Okay, so here it is. That is so cool. This is, let me zoom it in, a Japanese carded Destro. 
Look at that. I think that's, what, Destro version 3, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, at least that's what it would have been in the U.S. But on a Japanese card. Look at that. File card all in Japanese. Looks like he comes with a, sort of a, a version of Hit and Run's gun. Um, and that is something special. Look at this. Uh, have, I've not had a Japanese figure before um, at all, a loose one, let alone one carded. Um, and this is amazing. Um, yeah, I'll have to uh, compare this with the U.S. release. I do have the U.S. release of this figure. Um, and just see what the differences are. Uh, notice they used the card art from the first version of Destro. Uh, but not the first uh, version of the figure. On the card itself, let me see if I can get, zoom in close enough for you to see this, but it does have an English word on it. It does say Destro. The rest is in Japanese. So, wow. Uh, thank you, Chris. This is special. This is amazing. Um, I, I'm really impressed, and I'm very grateful that you sent that to me. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Okay, this is the last package for the month. Uh, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to show you what this is, and after that I'm going to put all of the uh, opening and unboxing videos together uh, and upload that so you can see everything I got for the month of April. It's a lot more than I expected, frankly. It's a pretty impressive stuff sent to me this month. Uh, really cool. So, now, this is from Chase Purdom, uh, and um, I know one thing that's in here, because he told me what it was, uh, but he sent some extra stuff, and I don't know what that is. Uh, so I've already cut the package so I can uh, take the contents out easily. Uh, so let's take it out and see what he sent us. All right, within the bubble wrap mailer, we have, looks like a, a plastic bag and some stuff in the plastic bag. So uh, let's see what we got. Some stuff in here I recognize right away. Other things I may need some help identifying. So um, let's see. I, there are some modern figures in here. Oh, um, but modern figures have figure stands with the figure's name on them. So that's helpful. That will identify, help me identify some of these uh, since I'm not as familiar with modern G.I. Joe figures. So oh, here's the thing that he did say he was going to send. This is, let me find the... Zoom this in. There we go. This is a Cobra Worms, the driver of the maggot. Um, and uh, he ha doesn't have his antenna, but he has his helmet. And so this will help me um, have a full crew for my uh, Cobra maggot. Um, I, I, this really isn't a bad army builder. Very interesting looking figure. Uh, so that's a Cobra Worms. Uh, so now I have a bunch of modern figures, so let's check these out. All right, some I recognize right away, like like there's a Cobra Eels. Cobra Eels, I have a couple of these, and so uh, that's a pretty cool army builder too. Uh, a modern Cobra Eels. Um, and uh, so I'm going to set that aside because I know what that guy is. Uh, and oh, here is Airtight. Airtight. Um, I have been trying to get... Uh, vintage airtight on the schedule for uh, a review, but I have just had the hardest time finding a slot for him on the calendar. Um, this is other things take priority, but I would really like to review uh, airtight. Well, there's the modern airtight action figure. Um, so it uh, looks like he carries over a lot of those uh, uh, design elements from the vintage version. So that's that. So airtight, thank you very much. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think is since I don't know uh, the names of a lot of these figures, I'm going to pull out the figure stands first um, and just see what the names are so I can help sort out um, sort out what we have. So we know we got a Cobra Eel. There's Skydive. Uh, Airtight, that goes with him. Oh, Eel goes over here. Uh, oh, Steel Brigade, and right there. Right there is the Steel Brigade figure. So that's a modern Steel Brigade and his... Uh, figure stand. Uh, so that's cool. I, I'm actually pretty partial to Steel Brigade. Uh, it's nice to see him um, uh, interpreted as a modern figure. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So Steel Brigade there. Um, try to put these together. Um, uh, let's see. Figure stands. Uh, Alley Viper. 
um, Firefly. Uh, what was that one? Oh, yeah, Hazard Viper. I missed that one. Um, there's a paratrooper of some kind. Uh, and, let's see. Is that all of them? I think that's all the figure stands. Um, so, let's see. All right, so now let's try to put the figures with the stands so I can figure out who these guys are. All right, well, this has got to be Hazard Viper, right? Because um, he's wearing a, a hazmat suit. Um, he almost looks like um, like barbecue. Like you can imagine this being barbecue with like a heat-resistant suit, uh, but there are Cobra symbols on it. So this, I do believe, is the Hazard Viper. Where is his? There's his stand. Let's put him on there. If I can figure out where the... There it is. Okay. So, there's the Hazard Viper. Yay. Uh, okay, who else do we have in this bag? Alright, um, I don't see a figure stand for him, but that's that's an Alley Viper. Uh, at least he has Alley Viper's shield. So, I think that's supposed to be an Alley Viper. And there is an Alley Viper helmet for him. Uh, so, that's got to be an Alley Viper, right? Um, pretty cool looking Alley Viper. Nice... Uh, red and gray color. I um, actually like that. that. That color, these colors for this Alley Viper are not bad. Let me put the, see if I can put the shield in the right way on his hand. Can he hold it? Yeah, he can. Uh, yeah, not, uh, not bad. Um, of course, uh, we had a couple versions of the Alley Viper in the vintage run. Uh, one of them orange and blue and the other one uh, yellow and black. But this is, um, Kind of a dark, deep red and black and gray. Not bad. I really like that. That's a, that's an upgrade on the colors, at least, of the Alley Viper. This one has to be Skydive version 2. Uh, because he doesn't look like a Cobra. Um, and I think I saw a thing that goes with him. Yeah, this kind of jetpack wing thing, which I believe does indeed go with the modern Skydive. Um, the colors match, anyway. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, there we go. Wings pop out. Neato. So, uh, I believe that's Skydive, uh, which makes this the um, Cobra Paratrooper, uh, because it looks like he does have a, a parachute on, and a whole bunch of hoses on him, um, air hoses and whatnot. So, uh, that's the Paratrooper, I'm pretty sure. Um, and uh, that, by process of elimination, I believe makes this one uh, Firefly. Some version of Firefly that I'm not very familiar with. And that's all the figures. There are a bunch of accessories in here, and I'll have to look them up to find out uh, which goes to which figure. Uh, but uh, that's it for the uh, figures, so I'm going to set these all out so you can see them. Thank you, Chase, for these. Um, I have to say, uh, it's really nice to get these modern figures. I'm not a modern collector, uh, so uh, thanks to the generosity of you guys, I've actually been able to um, have these figures, see them uh, up close, and uh, understand what uh, modern collectors like about them. Uh, so it's really cool to see these. Thank you very much, Chase, and thank you to all of you who sent stuff this month. I want to remind everyone, you don't have to send anything to me. Um, I, I'm, the channel is doing fine. I do have stuff that I can review, um, but when you, when you send stuff to me, it, it does help, and I really appreciate it. Um, it, the generosity of uh, viewers has been overwhelming. Um, I, I'm just stunned sometime, sometimes at, uh, at your generosity. So I want to make sure that each and every one of you knows that I appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone who just uh, tunes in and watches the videos. That's all I really need you to do. I just want you to be here, to uh, come to the channel every week, to watch the videos. Uh, so that we can share our uh, experiences and our memories of G.I. Joe, uh, to enjoy these toys again, um, and uh, just uh, we can uh, be a, a community of, of fans, uh, and we can go on this journey of collecting G.I. Joe together. Um, that, that's been something that's been very rewarding to me. I, I can't express how great that's been. Uh, I've made friends, like real honest to God friends through this project and uh, that's more valuable to me than anything so thank you to every single one of you uh, and thanks to everyone who is generous enough to uh, to send uh, things to me to donate things to the channel um, again you don't have to do that uh, for those that want to do that you can always uh, contact me um, 
privately send me a message on Facebook or Twitter uh, or an email through the website, however is easiest for you. Uh, but understand though that, um, that I'm not asking for anything. I'm doing great and I'm great because you're here. So thank you very much. And that's it. Those, uh, that's everything that was sent to me in the month of April. Um, I don't know uh, if anything will be sent to me next month, but if any, anything is, I will open it up on in front of the camera so that you can see it and I can share it with all of you uh, and also share my appreciation. So now it's time to get back to work on the review, the one that I was wearing this shirt for. Uh, so I'm going to get to it. Uh, thanks all again, and I will see you soon.